Ant-Man are no joke, man. Ant-Man are no freaking joke. I mean, what these guys are doing in the Syria is crazy. Because, you see, <laughs> for a long time, Syria was done. Nine, so Syria was mimicking your boys Bundesliga because of um, Luciano Moji FC, where nine in a row and they want to do ten in a row. Then things all changed. Milan won, Inter won, Napoli won, Milan won. You know, so you had like a nice variation. But the way that Milan, Napoli, and Inter won their leagues, they won them. What are Inter are doing? That is why I'm posing the question. I was like, are we going to see, not to the same degree as Juventus, another mini dominance? Because this is the same team that reached the UCL final. This is the same team that we all saw as UCL final. Inter should have won that game. In Simone, Inzaghi, Simone Inzaghi tactically outclassed Pep in that game. And if not for Lukaku and Lataro Martinez, Inter would have probably been UCL champions. Most likely. They've now gotten stronger. They've now improved. And Marcos Turam, I think he's one of the best signings this season. These dudes, there are, I think there are 11 games to go. So 11 games to go. These dudes are 15 points clear. <laughs> 15, like, it's done. So it's not about whether they win the league or not. It's just that what is the points gap going to be by the end of the season? Because you've seemed like if they've like gone out of gas now. But what is the points gap going to be at the end of the season? And... Are ah, this team just going to get stronger and stronger? Because do you know why I said that there could be like a mini dominance here? Syria don't have any money. Syria don't have the clout and the pull of yesteryear. Liao can say, oh, I love Milan, I love Milan. Liao is going to be one of the prime targets this summer. Especially if Liao has a great Euros. Are you sure Milan keep a hold of... Are you sure Milan keep a hold of Liao? I'm not sure. So when you just look at Milan, Juventus, Roma, Napoli, freaking Bologna. I say, what's that? That's Thiago Monster's team. So, those dudes, who can they buy? Who can they get? What can they do to now compete with an inter team who, through shrewd um, rec recruitments, they have a very good crew. They have a really good crew. Even Alexis Sanchez is, is, is alive this freaking day. I, th I thought that guy was, was, was retired ages ago. Chili Tax, you know, the same Chili team are now playing, same team from like the year 1800s. But, bro, guys, watch out for Inter Milan because my thing is, league is done. It's a, it's a done deal. It's that athletic game. It's that athletic game because for me, I just like variations because City Real, City Real, it's too obvious and we've seen City Real too much. If Inter can now become a huge force in Europe, because, bro, the last time the UCL was back in Italy was back in your boy Mourinho's time. Inter Milan, treble winning dudes. Ever since that time, the Italy have well, they've sniffed it in 2015 and in 2017 with, with Juve. Show 2017. Juve will have known that as good as that real team was, Juve's best chance was to win it in 2017. But to a pro, this inner team looking good, bro. So as we close down this Syria, could these guys make another run to the UCL final? Because I do believe that these guys could pose something very interesting to both City and Real Madrid. But are we looking at another? European juggernauts alongside the City and Real Madrid for the next three, four, five years. Talk to me, man. Like the vid, hit subscribe, head over to the official website, and check out those members' videos.